Mayor Bowser, thank you very much for coming. And I know that from, um, we had a lot of discussions over the past oh, year. Yeah, yeah. And I know that the environment is something that's very important to you. You're passionate about that. You're passionate about not just the urban environment, but you're passionate about our city, your city, all of our city being a leader in that. So thank you very much and thank welcome. You, thank you. Thank you. Thing that became very clear to me in my time on the council and even in um, the short time that we've had uh, the opportunity to, to build the Bowser administration is the decisions that we make are often, I would always say, 50-year decisions, right? Um, so you put a stadium somewhere, it's going to be there at least 50 years. Um, you're going to transform Walter Reed, well, let's plan on that being a 50-year decision. We, the decisions we make around transportation options, whether we put something someplace or not, again, 50-year decisions. What is clear is that we're making decisions right now that affect the next generation and shape the options for the generation after that. Um, so we have to be very careful uh, in government about how we distribute our resources and how we take care of the community. We inherited it and we have to leave it better for the generations that follow <coughs> us. We can all agree to that, right? Uh, on January the 2nd, like every mayor in the history of mayors, I inherited the past best uh, successes of my predecessors. I inherited some Lulus, but I also <laughs> inherited some good things. And one of those good things was sustainable uh, DC. And so what I know Tommy will do with me is make recommendations on all the things we should keep, all the things we should push harder on, the things we have to add, and if there are any things that we have to change or delete, we'll do that too. But what I want to say is that I was elected for a fresh start, not a star, start all over. Um, and so we want to make sure that we're building on the successes of your hard work, the hard work of leaders that have preceded us and push um, the district even even farther. Um, so we, we're meeting with, I have this thing I do called the 100-day the cluster meeting, and your meeting's tomorrow. Because uh, one thing that we've changed is, which is important, um, and it is uh, how we're organizing the government. You saw the city administrator here a little bit earlier. We've been very lucky to attract um, some really great talent in D.C. Um, and we wanted to make sure that there were more synergies uh, in the, the Department of the Environment and the cluster that it was in and shaping how we make transportation decisions, economic development decisions, and preservation decisions. So tomorrow, uh, Tommy will sit down with his colleagues in the, um, the planning and economic development cluster to really talk about how we're going to deliver um, in this first year for the residents of the District of Columbia. I say that because some, uh, while I'm not a micromanager, I am a hands-on manager, and I have really enjoyed uh, these first nine weeks in office, getting to know all of the people that, that work for me and uh, all of the important things that you uh, do. And I came to, to this job with a lot of ideas. You know, we have a thing that we do around the Bowser administration that you can interrupt me at any time if you say the following words. I have a fresh idea. <laughs> a fresh idea. So interrupt me anytime with a fresh idea. But I didn't come with all of the ideas. And so we want to make sure that there are opportunities always for employees in our government uh, to, to give ideas. So part of Tommy's charge is not only to make sure that we're delivering on sustainable DC and building on it, but part of his charge is to make sure he's building a great team here and that you have an avenue uh, for your fresh ideas. So remember, you can interrupt Tommy at any time with the following words. I have a fresh idea. Thank you, everybody.